Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about the back of software and hardware version issues. As we know from the back of TwinCry 3 software, it has a 3.1, 40, 24, 40, 22, or an early version. And the main string of the controller, they are basically 3.1, 40 something here. However, the main number at this uh, revision version for the software and hardware, they must be the same. That means this is 3.1, 40, 24 for the hardware and the software, they must be the same. This is a similar idea as a Rockwell, Allen Brownlee hardware and the software. Their main version, they must be the same. For example, if the hardware that is a version 31, uh, you have to install the Studio 5000 version 31 to program the controller or upload the program from the PLC. A similar idea, if the TwinCast 3 controller is internal version that is a 3.1, 40, 22, and if I install a latest program, TwinCast 3, 40, 24, this version, and when I try to download this uh, controller, the system will pop up this error showing the screen. It will show the device's version on the hardware seems to be different from the device's version used in the project. Try to upload and downgrade the devices in the project to match the actual version of the hardware, like showing the screen. So we need to match this uh, revision. This minus version doesn't matter, but this main version 3.1.40.24, this digits, they are very important. This digit, they must match together. Basically, we would have uh, two ways to deal with this case, when your hardware and the software, they are not match. The first way, you can go to this website, backoff.com, and go to the software, TwinCast 3, and find out this uh, TE-1000. Go to the engineering remote manager. This remote manager plays a role to allow the TwinCast 3 software can program some old version controller. For example, if a laptop already installed this uh, 3.1 40 24 10, this is the latest version, and one day you go on site, and on site there's one controller, is version that is a 3.1 40 22, or even early. How you can do this? So you can download this uh, remote manager. It doesn't need uh, any license. So you can download the version. For example, if that controller that is a 40 22, so you can download this version, or even early version, you can download this. And once you download this software and install together with the TwinCast 3 software, it doesn't show any icon. Then you will find when you open one TwinCast 3 project, it will pop up this drop list. So from here, you can select the version you need to use. Using this way, once you install the one latest version, you can still install some old version. That old version run as a shell inside your TwinCast 3. And you can use this old version software directly open one old version project. And using this old version project directly connect this old version controller. So this is a case one. Case two, that is a, sometimes if you already use the latest version, program one project. And then when you receive the one controller, you find Oh, this controller actually that built in one old version. That is the, the exact same case I have in the couple weeks ago. That time, my project, my TwinCast 3, that is a 3.1 40 24. And when I received this controller, that is a CX9020 controller, and I found inside this controller is version that has come from a February, but this version actually built in the 4022, which is a, a old version. After all, this uh, 4024, this version already published almost one year. This uh, minus version also changed a couple of times. Maybe someone will ask, why not install that remote manager and install that 3.1 40 22 and install that to program this controller? As we just discussed about that method one, that remote manager. For some cases, it works. 
But for my project, it doesn't work because some configuration in the 4020 or in the 4022, they are not the same as a 4024. The configuration and the programming way, they are slightly different. Take this uh, PLC HMI as an example. Uh, for example, this uh, commissioning the PLC HMI, that is uh, the HMI built in into the PLC. So this uh, configuration way, they are not the same. For example, there's a step two. Step two is necessary only if you are using build older than 4022. So like this case is, if you already use the latest software program your project, and then you received one controller, and that controller has an old version. So you have to upgrade this controller to match your software. That is uh, our method two. We are talking about this method. So that means we have to upgrade our hardware to this latest main version, 4024. How we can do that? So firstly, you need to ask your local backup support and ask them to send you a OS version. That OS version match your hardware and your latest software version. Maybe you can download this file from backup FTP or maybe backup support, they will send you a special link to download the firmware you need. You better ask backup support for this file because once you download the wrong file and load into your controller, maybe your controller is totally crashed. For example, in my case, my controller that is a CX9020 and I need the version that is a 4024, this version. The OS version number inside the hardware that is a 4022. I need to upgrade to 4024. So I need to download this zip file and then you need to take off the CF card or this uh, micro SD card from this controller. For my case, that is a CX9020. It's using one micro SD card. So I need to take off this card when the system is uh, shut down and uh, I need to plug in into my laptop and then plug in this uh, card into a laptop and copy those files from the micro SD into your local hard drive. When you copy in this file, you will find this file is named 4022. That is the hardware version into my CX9020 hardware. So I copy those files into my hard drive. And after you copy those files, you double check under the TwinCast 3 3.1 target under this license directory, double check if this license file already copied and backup. This license file includes the license key when you license this controller. Keep in mind, backup this file. After we copy all those files from the micro SD to our local drive, and then we can delete all the file inside the micro SD. Get it ready to load the new firmware files inside the micro SD. And then copy the file download from the backup FTP or somewhere the backup support give you. And make sure that latest version that match with your software. My version that is a 4024. That is my program that is my software latest version and uh, this uh, new firmware that also match with my TwinCast 3 software. So I need to unzip this file and uh, copy the files under this folder into this uh, memory SD. So I copy all those files back to the micro SD. Meantime, you'd better double check this version you copied from your hard drive into this uh, micro SD. That version that is a 4024, latest version. And after the copy, go back to the TwinCat 3.1 target and the license this folder. And copy your backup license file back to this uh, micro SD. And after you copy this license file, you can close this window and uh, unplug this uh, micro SD and insert the card back to the controller. Make sure you insert a slot that is a number one because this is a number one slot that is a system slot. And then connect the power to this controller. 
Meantime, you better connect the HMI screen. Uh, we can check out the status. Also, we can check out the firmware version after we upgrade. And after you insert that microSD into the CX9020 or your controller and power up your controller, your controller will firstly boot up, jump into the operating system. But meantime, you will find at the right side corner of this uh, TwinKit icon, it will show a color. That means your system is reading something from this uh, microSD. After this reading complete, your system will reboot. And in the meantime, your system will upgrade to the latest firmware. This whole process basically just one minute. It's really fast. So let me show this entire process. Firstly, I insert the card and boot up this system. And once it's started, you will see the right side corner, it shows a color. That means the system is reading the files from the micro SD. And then it will reboot by itself. And once it's a start again, you will see it's still reading something. And once you find this uh, icon shows green, that means this upgrade complete. And then after the system totally complete, so don't forget, go to the network and the dial up connections, change the IP because we totally refresh this uh, system. So your IP address will go back to its dynamic or default IP address. So you need to set the IP address match to your project. And then we go to this CX configuration, double check the firmware, double click this CX configuration icon. And then you will find this TC build is already upgrade to the latest version 4024.7. So once it match with my software, I can program this hardware. Although we upgrade the system firmware, this system ID is still the same as before. This allows our license key still match our hardware. So after we return the license file, we do not need to license this hardware again. The license file will automatically find this system ID and match together. All right, that is for today. If your hardware and your software, they are now match, Basically, we have two ways. Firstly, you can install this remote manager and install one old version. That old version match your hardware controller firmware. And this is the first way. The second way that is upgrade your hardware firmware or hardware OS image, especially for the case after you program your project by using the latest TwinKai 3 software. And then when you receive this hardware, you find this hardware actually is built in an old version image. So you better upgrade this old version hardware to a new version to match your TwinKai 3 software version. And in my case, my hardware that is a 9020 is version that is a 4022. And after this upgrade, I upgrade to the latest version 4024. It match with my TwinKai 3 software. All right, that is for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you for watching.